kids, turn off the Wi-Fi and go to bed. It's past your bedtime. This is Angry Steve. Do you know what I'm angry about this week? Besides the kids not going to bed. Wi-Fi passwords. Of course you want the password to be difficult, so then you forget it. And your friends ask you, what's the password? You can't remember it, or you try to help them enter it, and you're entering it, and it doesn't work, and you try again, and it still doesn't work. It's so annoying. The other thing that's really annoying is when people are using my Wi-Fi without paying for it. I need some good protection to stop that. Most routers and every AP that I've used is really complicated and a hassle to configure it and set it up and start using it. Now we're going to do a speed test for the old AP. This is way less than what I've been paying for. That's so weak. So let's see if Moldyx is any better with what it has. So let's give it a try. First we download the app and then we open it up. Install Multi. Okay, I'll set this one up for the living room. So this actually configures the multi-router, and all I had to do is tap a few buttons and sets up the Wi-Fi network. That's pretty good. I put the other one in the back bedroom, because that's usually got the worst Wi-Fi connections. Actually, compared to uh, traditional routers, seems pretty easy to set up. I like how it has the app. I don't like having to look at quick start guide and go through all the pages. And we'll see how well this can cover the whole house. Okay, let's see what all features we have here. Now it's testing the connection speed for me. Okay, that looks like troubleshooting. Okay, it shows me that it's testing the connection between the living room. Parental control. This is what I can use to make sure the kids have to stop using the internet at bedtime. Okay, all the device information. And it also shows the details for the device in the bedroom. Now I'm going into the Wi-Fi settings because I want to see if I can also set up the guest Wi-Fi network. I can enable it or disable it, and I can change the name and the password. And the single Wi-Fi name option is enabled, which means I can use the same network name for both the 2.4 gigahertz network and the 5 gigahertz network. This app seems to give me a pretty easy control of my Wi-Fi network, and I can even control it from wherever I happen to be. And now, what you've all been waiting for, where the rubber meets the road, the speed test. Let's see what it can do. Oh wow, that, that's really fast. So this thing really does give a great connection speed and it was easy to set up. Wow, I wish I would have had this before. So what have we seen? The MoldyX app, it actually works pretty well and it's pretty easy. You can set up the network, connect the devices, you just follow the instructions. Overall, this is pretty handy. I wish we had this a long time ago. So. Did it pass today's test? Yeah, it passed actually with flying colors. So, until next time.